The FAA is now investigating tonight after two planes clipped their wings at Logan. It comes one week after a jet on approach nearly hit a plane on the runway. Now, a passenger on one of the planes involved in today's incident tells WBZ's Mike Sullivan everyone on board panicked. It's a scary situation, especially considering recent incidents. Passengers that we spoke with say they felt a jolt as soon as the planes collided. Flight anxiety is typically at its lowest when the wheels are on the ground. Between that and then the incident today, I'm a, I am a little nervous about taking off and landing here. Nick Leone thought he was heading to Newark en route to Miami. It was supposed to be the first day of a new job. We were backing off, taxiing to try and take off and got this, you know, felt this thunk kind of jerked back a little bit. As he looked out the window. The wing had clipped another wing on a, the o other flight. Massport clarifying that the wing of Leone's United flight actually struck the tail of another United flight bound for Denver. I mean, it felt like we hit something. Um, and then the fire department showed up and the cops showed up and everybody showed up. The FAA says the incident happened during the tug process when the plane leaves the gate. Aviation experts say pilots typically have little impact on this situation. They are mostly monitoring while ground crews go to work. In most commercial planes, uh, believe it or not, um, you, you can't even see the wingtip from the cockpit. Patrick Smith is a pilot and the owner of the Aviation Info website, askthepilot.com. When an airplane pushes back from the gate, the crew will get permission from the apron controllers and or ground control at the airport. The FAA says the tug crew was operated by United. I can't overstate really how minor an incident this sort of thing is and I feel like we wouldn't be having this conversation at all if not for other closer calls. The FAA is still investigating a near crash at Logan less than a week ago. The pilot of a Learjet took off without clearance while a JetBlue flight was preparing to land. I hadn't heard about uh, that incident until after the fact. Leone was one of the lucky ones. He was able to switch flights. I'm getting on one right now. So uh, it's not United, and, uh, and I think that's important from now on. The FAA is continuing to investigate the situation. Thankfully, no one was hurt. At Logan, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.